here's how you find out each one. I'm, I'm hoping that you can walk through this with me and understand where they're going. Let's talk about the left endpoints first. Then we'll do right endpoints and finally midpoints. So in each case, we'll have an xk dot. By the way, some of this might be a little vague to you until we actually do an example and you see how to use the xk dot. But ultimately, we're trying to do this. Look up here for a second. We're trying to figure out a way to substitute this into this, because we need to have some sort of expression that represents it, right? Otherwise, we can't plug it into our function, and then we can we can do anything with it. So we're ultimately trying to do that, we're trying to get some expression for xk dot plug into our function. After we plug into our function, we'll have something in terms of x's and, 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 and things like that, and k's. So, and that's what we want, because we need x's and k's to deal with our summation. And we need that to deal with the limit. So that's the whole idea here. So far, so good? Yeah. OK. Very good. So um, let's talk about all these. What are we going to let these things equal and we're talking about left, right, and midpoints, respectively. Let's talk about the, end, the left endpoints. Um, where does this whole thing start? Not at zero or anything like that. At what? It starts at A. Wherever A is, that's where our interval is going to start. Agreed? So each of these is going to have an A. You know, maybe I'll do the right endpoints first. I think you'd probably understand it a little bit better. We start at A. Let's say that I wanted my, my endpoints to start at the right of each subinterval. So for right endpoints, for right endpoints, do I want to start here for my very first one or here for my very first one? This one. So I'd have to add something to get from here to here. What am I going to add? It's already on the board. What am I going to add? Okay, so would you agree that to get to a right endpoint, <coughs> I'm going to add delta x. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So to get from here to here, I don't want to start at A. For right endpoints, I don't want to start at A. I want to start at x1. So I'd start at whatever this is, but plus delta x, right? The next one, how far, now this is going to seem weird because I'm going to go back to here, but how far away is the next endpoint from here? A plus A. Two delta, two, delta two delta x is away. How about the next endpoint? A plus three delta. Three delta x and four and k. Yes, no. Yeah. Can you see how that works? I've gone over your head. Some of you. Can you stand up? So I'm going over your head. Just kidding. Uh, we're trying to find segments that are delta x away, right? Delta x is the width. If I'm talking about right endpoints, I say, how do I get from one place to the far end of a of a of my subsegment, my subinterval? Well, I'm going to add delta x to it. If I start off with this plus delta x times one, because we start at one, right? That's going to give me this point. Then two, three, four, five, six. Notice how I've gone one, two, three, four, five, all the way to n, and each of those will be the right, the furthest most right point on each of our intervals. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. That's for right endpoints. Let's talk about left endpoints. Left endpoints, I want to slow this down by one. Because what I want to have happen is I want to start here, right? And then on my second one, I want to be here. Does that make sense to you? I hope I haven't lost you. I really do. Right endpoints would be here. Right, one. Right, two. Right, three. You get it? Mm -hmm. Left endpoints, that would be A plus delta X for the first one, A plus two delta X for the second one, A plus three delta X for the third one, A plus uh, delta X times K for any of them. That's right endpoints. Left endpoints would do this. 
left one, left two, left three. Do you get that? So what's going on? I'm actually hitting pretty much the same exact values, aren't I? Except I'm starting one earlier. I'm starting on my A. So I need to slow this one down by one. If I slow this one down by one, I'll have my left endpoints. How do I slow this one down by one? Subtract delta x with the same thing as subtracting 1 from k. <coughs> you have it right. What if I do that, subtracting 1 from k? So for instance, how do I get from to here? I'm going to add... Basically, I'm going to add 0 delta x's. 0 delta x's. That would be... Because we start at 1, k minus 1. You okay with that? Have I lost you? Notice that k always starts at 1 for us, right? k minus 1 is 0. In this case, so 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 times delta x is 0. You would start at a. You with me? The next one would say, okay, plug in, plug in uh, 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. You would have 1 delta x away for your second endpoint. Ah, that's right there. Third, fourth, fifth. So I basically just slowed it down by one. You okay with that? Now the trickier one. Midpoints. Not really that bad. Not really that bad. <laughs> this would be midpoint one, midpoint two, midpoint three. And here's the question. How much of delta x am I adding to get from here to here? Half of it. I'm adding half of it. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. It's a little bit weird though, because uh, you're going to take it and say, you've got to have the same delta x, right? So you're going to have. Subtract one half from k and then multiply it. So take one minus one half, you get one half. You have to add in half of delta x. Two minus one half, that's one and a half. Then multiply by delta x. And that's what you're doing here. And that's the idea. But you have the idea, you have the idea basically down. In fact, you know, I think it might work a little bit better. Would you mind if I switch those around? So instead of having delta x k minus one, I think I'd like to keep it k minus one delta x. I believe that's how perhaps your book has it k times delta x. And k minus 1 times delta x. By show of hands, how many people understand the, the endpoints? And lastly, you might also see this as c of k. So note that that's the same thing as what we're talking about. So when you see c sub k, that's the identical, identical. Now, would you finally like to see how this is put into practice? Would you? Sure. I was hoping you would. Otherwise, I, I, I've got nothing. So that's good. My lesson would kind of fly me a little bit. It's a good thing you want to know. You understood the idea, right, Aries? It's kind of cool. It's an interesting idea, isn't it? To take all those, make them really small, add them together. We have it. We can do that now because we have this idea of a limit. Limit basically gives us the idea of calculus. That's it. That's it. I know you think it's a derivative, but derivative is based on limits, right? I know you think it's an integral, but an integral is based on limits, right? Yes. That's all it is, is limits. Adding things together. So, let's see if we can add these things together. We'll start off kind of simply, just so you get the idea of how to do this. The process will be the same. The, uh, as you guys have found out, sometimes implementation is more difficult, but the process is the same. Some problems are harder than other problems, clearly. But this one shouldn't be too bad to give us a nice understanding about what's going on here. Let's go ahead and find the area. Under f of x equals x squared on 0 to 1. And what I'm going to say, in general, in your real life, you can pick whatever endpoints you want. It really doesn't matter. It will all work out the same. 
What I'm going to tell you is in what endpoints to pick. In this case, I want you to pick right endpoints. Again, it doesn't matter when you're taking a limit because n's going to infinity. It's all getting squashed anyway. I would say I would say it looks like right endpoints tend to be the easiest for me. So I don't have to deal with this. I don't have to deal with that. I should pick right endpoints. <coughs> Ready to get down to it? The first thing you do whenever you're doing this, you have to have. We're basically trying to fill this out. So we're going to start on the right, we'll work our way left. you got to start and you got to know what delta x is. So delta x, recall that delta x is, what was, how do we find delta x? B minus a over what? Okay. So this is like step number one. In our case, Delta X. By the way, that was my fraternity, so I always I always like writing that. Delta Chi was the fraternity I was in. So every time I write that, I'm like, woo! Yeah. No, actually, I don't even care, but it's kind of fun. Wait, I was in a fraternity. That was your fraternity? Mm -hmm. wow. well, we didn't call it Delta X, it was Delta Chi. It's Chi. Anyway. <laughs> fun times, fun times. Uh, what's B in this case? How are you getting the one? B minus A. Okay, this is B minus A. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the interval tells you A and B, right? So where you start is A, where you stop is B. Where do we stop? One. One minus, what is your A? Zero. I need more than this, guys. More than this. Come on, y'all should be participating here. Okay. If y'all see where it's coming from, tell me. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But don't just sit there silently. Do you see where the B is coming from? Yes. See where the A is coming from? What's the n? I don't know. We can't do that because we're letting n go to infinity later. So we don't know what n is. I'm not telling you 5 or 6. We want better than that. We don't want approximations. We want exactness. So we need to have an n up there. Do you feel okay that this is going to equal 1 over n? <coughs> Yay or no? Okay, cool. The next thing you have to do is you have to come up with some representation of your xk dot. You need that, because we have now our delta x. That's great. One over n. We now need our x k dot. x k dot. Oh, let's do the x k dot. I said left, right, or mid. Which are we doing? So you'd, you'd go over here. You'd find which one is appropriate for you based on what the problem is telling you to do. Sometimes in your book, you'll get mid, sometimes left. In this case, I'm giving you right. So we're going to do this exact same thing. So in our case, because we're right, not all the time, but because we're right endpoints, we've got A plus K delta X. By the way, this order is non-negotiable. You have to go in this order. You'll see why right now. So for us, X K dot equals, uh, how much is A? Zero. Zero is nice. Oh, zero. Plus. Do I have anything up here that says K in it? Do I, do I have any, any numbers for K? Then leave it K. 